guys, greetings from Los Angeles, California. So today's video, I am going to show you one of the most important things that I pack when I go off on a trip, and that is my travel makeup bag. As you can see, it's a pretty large size bag, so I have quite a bit of makeup in here, so I'm going to try to get through it as fast as I can. I'm first going to start off with the bag itself, which is a bag that I got at a little thrift shop in Orlando. I got this for really, really cheap there. And I absolutely love this bag. I've been using it as my go-to makeup bag for over a year now. Love this green color and I just love how much it can fit inside of it. So we're just gonna go into the bag now. Ooh, I have so much stuff. Okay, I'm probably just gonna start pulling things out at random. Uh, let's get the big stuff out of the way first. The first item I have here is of course my Naked 2 palette. I don't even think I brought any other eyeshadows because honestly if you have this palette you really don't need anything. Especially if you're just going on a trip that's no longer than a week. I say that this is perfect and all you really need as far as eyeshadows go. Next I brought some bronzers and I brought my NARS Laguna bronzer and my NYC Sunny bronzer. One just for every day and then another one just in case I went to anything a little bit more fancier. For foundations, I brought my Revlon Nearly Naked. Um, this is pretty much my everyday go-to foundation because I like the light coverage on it and the fact that it has SPF in it. And then, like I said, for any special occasions that might arise, I brought my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation, which also has SPF 15 in it, which is awesome. For my moisturizer, I brought my Olay Complete, which also has SPF 15 because it is so hot and sunny out here in California. Honestly, you want as much sun protection on your body all the time. Then I brought some blushes. I have the Benefit Coralista blush, which I've just been so in love with all summer. I also broke out my Benefit Sugar Bomb, which I think is a great blush to use to transition into fall. And then I Finally, I have my MAC Pinch O Peach Blush, which is just one of my all-time favorites. I love this blush. It's just so pigmented and perfect on all skin tones. I also brought my setting powder, which is the Maybelline Dream Matte Setting Powder. I brought a couple of mascaras. This one is the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara, which is one of my all-time favorites. I still am in love with this mascara. And then my newest favorite mascara, which is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. Absolutely love this mascara as well. I brought my little travel size Urban Decay Primer Potion. You gotta have that. I have my Beauty Blender here, which I use to put on my foundation. I have my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo that I use for my brows. Got my little NYX um, pencil sharpener, which is great for the jumbo eye pencils and for regular size eye pencils. Speaking of the jumbo eye pencils, I have mine here in milk and then my other one here in black bean. I also have two Bobbi Brown um, long wear eye pencils. These are the gel eye pencils that I love so much better than the 24-7 Urban Decay eye pencils because they do not smudge. This one is in mahogany and this one is in jet black. Then I have my 24 hour color tattoo by Maybelline. This is in Bad to the Bronze just because this is just, I feel like, a must-have with you at all times. It's great also if you don't want to spend time doing your eyes. You can just sweep this on and your eyes just look amazing. I brought my primer, the Balm Time Balm Primer, and I've actually really been liking this one. It goes on really easily. Then, of course, I brought my Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer Pen, which is a good thing I know the name of it so well. Oh my goodness, my voice. <laughs> because the name is completely wiped off of the packaging but I absolutely love this and I'm getting a little bit low on it so I'm getting kind of nervous I'm gonna have to stop by the drugstore and pick up another one um, I brought my Bobbi Brown corrector this is in light bisque and it's my all-time favorite corrector I just love this for neutralizing those dark spots and red spots on my face this is just so good at doing that then I have my Chanel eyelash curler, which I love, and two liquid eyeliners. This is by NYC. This is their liquid eyeliner in just black, 
which I've really been liking as just a really cheap on-the-go alternative. And then I have my favorite liquid eyeliner here. This is by L'Oreal. This is their Linear Intense in Carbon Black, and this has a little brush tip that can be a little tricky to work with, but once you've mastered it, I really think it's worth getting. Then I have a lip liner here. This is by NYX. This is in the color 804 Cabaret, and I love using this with the darker shade like Oxblood lipsticks that are going to be really big in fall, and I'm all about, and I can't wait to start wearing them all the time again. And speaking of lipsticks, I brought quite a few here. I have Pure Zen. These are all Max, by the way. This is a pure. This is a cream sheen. Then I have another cream sheen. This is Cream Cup, which is my go-to light pink color. This is a satin lip gloss. This is my all-time favorite dark red lipstick. It looks really dramatic um, in the packaging, but it actually looks gorgeous on. And this is Rebel. And this is a luster lipstick. This is Syrup, which is another lipstick that I think is just perfect for fall. So pretty. And then, of course, I brought a Revlon Lip Butter with me. I, Looking back, I probably should have brought another color because this one's a little bit too bold pink for me, at least for right now, um, at the end of summer here, transitioning into fall. But this is the color Cupcake, which is a really pretty bright pink color, just a little bit too bright for me. And then I have two lip glosses. This is a MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glass. This is in the color Persistent Peach. I think this is a limited edition, but it's really, really pretty, and I really like this color. And then finally, I have my NARS, I actually forgot what it's called, it's a NARS lip gloss in Place Vendôme. I forgot the name of it, but it's a really, really nice lip gloss. I love putting this on top of Rebel or any other kind of Oxblood Maroon dark red lipsticks during the fall. We're getting to the bottom of the bag now, so there's just a couple of items left. I have my Nivea Lip Butter here in Raspberry Rosé Kiss, which I just love this. It makes your lips feel so moisturized. I have just a random little hair tie here. I got a couple of cotton swabs. I have my little sample size Mary Luminizer by The Balm, which is just a great highlighter. And I have my tweezers. These are by Anastasia. And then finally I have just a little sample size perfume vial. This is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. And I just like the way that this smells for summer. And that is everything in my travel makeup bag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I've really been enjoying my time out here in California. I cannot wait to move out here. It's so beautiful and the weather is so nice. Yeah, it's been a little bit hot, but I'm a Florida girl, so I'm kind of used to that kind of weather. Thank you all so much for watching, and until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye!